Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to be discussing a certain aspect of the design of MapHash, which I found confusing when I was new to Common Lisp and first came across it. Let me jump over here to my computer and um, show you a few things we've got set up already. So I've created this variable h0, which has currently got nothing in it, and a function called reset, which is going to put a new hash table in h0 and put a couple of values in it, a couple of pairs of values, obviously. So let's run, run reset quickly. We can see that it's done. I'm then going to bring up the inspector on h0. Um, I bring back the code so we can compare everything. Okay, so here's our hash table. We can see that we've set foo to 10. Here's foo 10. And bar to 20. Bar 20. All right, so now I want to do something with this. Like, let's say we want to, I don't know. Um, let's see, what should we do? We should just get all the values uh, from this. So let's do map hash. Um, and then we pass a function which takes a key and a value and then we're just going to get the value from that um, actually no let's let's make lists let's make pairs of keys and values and then we pass in h0 right and we get back nil it's kind of weird or at least seemed weird to me at first because you know my hash table has stuff in it i'm mapping over it and this function is returning a result what happened to my result and the answer is it's gone um, map hash doesn't work like this. Map hash always returns nil. Its only job is to let you traverse or pass, like run your function on all the things that are in the hash table. Um, but yes, it doesn't have this explicit result set already. And that was weird to me at first because I'm used to like map car and map and things like this where they have, like there is going to be a result that's given back to you, uh, whether it's a list or a vector or something like that. And so this felt strange. It's like I'm having to do all this mutable stuff. But when you think about it, it makes kind of a lot of sense because what would be the correct result for a hash table? Like, maybe we want to return a list. I mean, that's valid, but we, it's equally valid to want a hash table. Or maybe even if you want lists, then there's some point you're going to need it as a vector instead. And when you get these kind of design cases where there's a bunch of answers and they're all correct, they're all equally valid, then... One possible solution is just to punt and say, okay, we can't pick for you something that's going to be right all the time. We're going to let, leave that to be something that you handle yourself. And so that is the design case here. You have to set the values out somewhere else if you want to use them like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one possible implementation of a map hash which returns a hash table. Um, what we're going to do, our function is going to return two values. It's going to return a new key and a new value. And that new hash table is going to have those keys and values in them. So let's do this now. So we're going to do fun map ht for hash table. And we're going to take a function and a hash table. And then we're going to we're going to need a result. So let's say result is make hash table. And then we're going to map hash over ht. What's our function going to be? Okay, we're going to have a lambda which is going to take a key and a value, and we're going to call the function that was passed in with that key and a value. Now we just said that it's going to return two results. If you haven't seen multiple value return, check out one of my other episodes on that. So we're going to catch those with multiple value bind. Whoops, multiple value bind. New key, new val. Right? And then we're going to put these new things into our results hash table up here. So we're going to set f, get hash, um, new key um, of result to new val. I'll bring that down the new line here. Cool. And at the very end, we are going to return the result. So that's map ht. And so what are we going to do? Let's run map ht. We're going to pass in a function which takes a key and a value. And what we're going to return using values is we're going to return the original key, but I'd like to double the uh, number that's the value. Remember we put in 10 and 20 for foo and bar. I want to double those. So val times 2. Um, in fact, we can bring this probably up into one line here. And we're going to be mapping across the hash table h0. And when we do this, we get a new hash table. Let's inspect it and see what we've got. Okay, so we have a new hash table, completely different from the original one, um, which has two values in it. 
and we can see that in this case bar is 40 and foo is 20 which is so foo originally was 10 now it's 20 bar was um yeah it was 20 and now it's 40. we have not mutated the original table if i inspect that we can see that foo and bar are still the same we've created a new hash table so it really is up to you how you want to use your hash tables when you're mapping over them, whether you want to mutate the values in the original table where you want to create a new hash table, whether you want to create a list or a vector, it's up to you. And so the common list standard has said pretty much that as well. You work it out. But it's a useful component and it's good that we have it. So until next time, have a good one.